Good morning to you on this Wednesday. We continue now with Mark's Gospel, chapter 9. We begin from verse 43 today. Jesus said, If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than having your two hands to go into hell, into the unquenchable fire, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. If your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than having your two feet and be cast into hell, where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. If your eye causes you to stumble, throw it out. It's better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than having two eyes and to be cast into hell, where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. For everyone will be salted with fire. Jesus here is speaking in metaphors. He's not speaking literally. Um, he's telling us to take those sin very, very seriously. And he says, if your foot causes you to stumble, then cut it off. Or if your arm causes you to stumble to sin, then cut it off. Or if your eye causes you to sin, then pluck it out. Of course, he's not talking literally. He's telling us, though, to take sin very, very seriously. If you know that you go to places where uh, you shouldn't be going, that do not honor God, that cause you to sin, then don't go there. Be as if you've cut off your legs and you can't go there anymore. Or if your hand is causing you to pick up things and take things and do things that you shouldn't do, then Jesus said, consider it chopped off that you can't use it anymore. Or if your eye is looking at things that are unclean and things that are not pleasing and honoring to God, then consider it plucked out that you can't see any more. Understand the, the seriousness of sin. Some people take grace very cheaply they think well you know i'm saved i i'll be forgiven i can do whatever i like and then i'll ask god to forgive me that's cheapening grace good friday reminds us that jesus had to go through hell so that we would never experience it jesus took our sin upon himself sin is a horrible thing we should make it our attitude to try not to sin we don't always succeed but we don't purposely go out and sin we know that if we do sin that he forgives us but we take it very, very seriously. And if we know that there are weaknesses and things in our life that cause us to sin, then we need to work on that and ask God to strengthen us and help us not to do it. Everything is tested uh, by fire. We need to honor God. It cost him so much to save us. And we should be living a life that brings glory and honor to him. And if there are things in our life that cause us to stumble, then we need to do something about it and take it very, very seriously. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise and bless you on this new day. We thank you that you are continually teaching us. Help us to understand your word. Help us not to be only hearers, but to be doers of your word. Help us, Lord, to rightly divide the truth. We thank you that you are always teaching us, shaping us, molding us. Lord, I know that you love us so very much that you died on the cross. You shed your blood so that our sins could be forgiven, so that we would not have to experience hell. You went through hell so that we would not have to. We thank, praise, worship, and bless you for that. Today in you, we come to you. We offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you. This is our reasonable service of worship. We pray that you help us not to be conformed to this world, but to be renewed in our minds, to know what is the perfect good will of God. Heavenly Father, we pray for our government. We pray for all in authority. We pray that you give them wisdom and understanding, help them to understand the times we live in and to make good and right decisions in all things. We live in a society that's becoming more and more godless. Lord, we pray, have mercy. We pray, Lord God, Heavenly Father, have mercy on the Ukraine. We pray for those who are suffering so much. We ask, Lord, for an end to this suffering. We hear the rattlings and rumors of wars in other places. And we pray, Lord, have mercy. We realize that all of these are signs that your coming is near. So may we be awake and prepared and ready for when the time comes. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we pray for those souls that don't know you yet. We ask that today would be the day that many hearts open to you. We lift up before you the orphan. We lift up before you the poor, the sick, the widow, the dying. We pray, Lord, that you wrap your arms around them and strengthen them. We pray for our brothers and sisters who are persecuted for the faith. We pray that they would stand strong and forgive those that persecute them, for they know not what they do. Lord God, Heavenly Father, you know all of our needs and you meet our needs, and we thank you so much. 
and everything that we would ask in prayer today we combine in the prayer that you have so beautifully and wonderfully left for us our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom the power the glory now and forever amen so my friends have a blessed day god be with you god willing i'll see you all again tomorrow